Okay, so yes, I did have to go back to my pictures to verify in the video. Um, it's the white with the red jumper is in the outer two slot. This is the front one slot. This double black goes between them in the middle, like that. The orange goes all the way to the front corner up here. So it's the orange with the red next to it, the double black. You got the white and then, well, that's the white with red and then the other white goes inside. I believe that's it. Hope I don't blow anything. But, you know, trial and error. Should have took better pictures. Okay, well, best as I can tell, that's pretty much how everything goes together. And then for the panel to go in, there's a screw hole on top, but you got to start high because it kind of slides in place. Make sure the bottom is caught in, bottom and top caught in. And then you put one screw in the top there and that holds your control panel on. And then I'm back to just replacing the top. Okay, so change the fuse because it might still blown from the last time. There's a screw right here and a screw over here and just a little Phillips screwdriver. They come off pretty easy. Yay, screwdriver. <laughs> now when you're done with that, there's a little panel right here that pops out of your way, which you can see in almost any video. And then there's some internal windings and there's a fuse right there in front. And if the fuse is bad, well, you just gotta kind of pop it out of there nice and lightly. And then you take her out and put a new one in. Just press the new one right back in there. And at that point, I'm going to plug it in to make sure it works. With Okay, new fuse. Putting her in the old fuse holder here. Click, click. And I'm just going to plug her in. Let's see if she's... Huzzah! So it was the open-close switch on the door handle where the latch goes inside and it pushes against the tabs in there and one of those was bad causing a short inside of itself and now it's in the closed position as it should be which shuts one off and activates the other one so it changes a little flapper down there and pushes against one here it releases and they're both in an open position microwave is working again so to put the vent cover back on the microwave top um, the top and the sides basically just slam in there and you got your two screws, one on each end. But the bottom has these really awesome, big grooved, hold on to me tab things that are going on there. There in the middle and on the right side. You kind of have to line them up. Not really line them up, but there is no slots that they go into. So once you get the bottom in, Well, you can get the top and the bottom at the same time, kind of. You have to lift and kind of lift and push, and then you shove the top in. And once the top is in, you feel along that top edge to make sure it's pushed all the way up. You know that it isn't gapped out at all like that. Make sure it's pushed all the way up tight. Feel the gap all the way across. Then you just put in your two screws. One's over here, and the other one is over here and then you're done.